it's Tina with TNT Crochet Hookers, where knit happens. Um, as you can tell, I have been working, and I am definitely going to go with the design that was the uh, serographical or spherical um, shawl. So I have decided I'm just in love with it. I can't stop thinking about it, so that's the shawl for me. I believe that is what I'm going to do. So, what I've gotten so far, if you can ignore all the strings, and pretty cool, huh? So the next color that I'm going to be, now obviously I really do need to do some blocking for this, um, some serious blocking, just so you can start to see the petals. And then the next color is going to be this orange and then we're going to have to see what happens next. I also started some trying to experiment with like because they have like some little in between squares as well. So they have these little in between squares. So I want to try to see like how to do this and what I was thinking of doing is like you know you have just the little bits of a uh, yarn left. So that's what I'm going to focus on doing those with. And I do have quite a bit of the blue, so I'm going to see how that works out. And, or I may actually incorporate the blue into the other one. And, but I'm having fun with it. I'm looking forward to seeing the results. I can't wait to share it with you. But I'm, I'm loving this book. I actually already have a plan for this one as well. <laughs> I already know what I'm going to do for this. Um, you might remember the yarn that uh, I showed you towards the beginning, the darn good yarn that had the sparkles in it, but it was the super fine yarn, and uh, it was like the super fine silk yarn. I'm actually going to do this as it, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm really excited about that, but I really want to stay focused, get through this, and speaking of... Here's my shawl. I got it done. And it just looks, I love how uh, with Randy, I'm going to say her name wrong and I don't want to do that, but um, how, how is her name again? Randy Rambling. I'll figure that out. I'll actually put it in the notes. But what I loved about this was if you look at each section, it almost looks like a giant leaf, especially with these colors. And it just turned out so lovely. I'm just really happy about it. My husband actually thought it looked really nice too. So, you know, that's always a perk when you get your man to say, ooh, you look good, you know? So <laughs> that's always a plus, especially after 20 plus years. You always want that, you know, get that dynamite going. Get that fire sparking. So, and it is nice and comfy. I, I really do like how soft it is. And this was with the Ferris wheel. Okay? And cherry on top was the color. So, we're going to make this kind of short and sweet because, you know, it's Vlogtober and I'll be doing this again in December. I will already tell you in advance, in November my plan is to go maybe once a week. And um, maybe not vlog quite so much um, just because I'm doing it for 31 days and then I'm going to take a break and it is really hard I didn't realize how long it takes to get these freaking videos up it is like sometimes an hour or more and even though it, and it's funny because it'll sit there and say oh you have 30 minutes left lies 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 because it the 30 minutes lasted for two hours and I was like oh my god so, and you know, I work, so I, doing it, we're, we're even trying to incorporate my daughters into <laughs> keeping track of it, uploading and stuff. So, and then, you know, you have to put your notes in, and I'm not very good with the notes yet. I'm hoping I get a little bit better with that, but, yeah. I did get the time to, like, cake some of these. And aren't they just so cute? They're just so cute. I know I'm a little weird today, because let me tell you, I've already been working a long time and I'm tired, so it's been kind of 
already a busy week and the week's just started. So if you notice I got my whole little, I really, I got my other two boxes, box one and two for Crochet Society and I'm just so excited. I've been, uh, I already got my little stitch marker collection of them which are so cute. I'm really liking it. I am very excited about the patterns that are in it. So I'm, uh, and I've been having an opportunity because I had to go and work a little bit later. So I, I've been getting those three hour sessions of crocheting. I just rolled down all the windows. The weather is getting a little nicer here in Virginia. It's not so blistering hot. Um, the humidity is going down a tiny bit. But uh, I've had a couple of nice days where I just have the windows down. And remember how Santa used to just be sitting in her car waiting for the kids to get done with sports and stuff? Yeah, that's kind of me, but I don't have to worry about children with it. I just sit there and just enjoy myself, and it's just very, and I watch all of you. <laughs> and I, you know, I really, like I was really hooked on a Canadian crocheter today, and she became my new subscriber. I was so excited. I'm like, you know, I'm like fanning, I guess it's called. But yeah, it, it's been exciting so far. So, let's get to it. Let's see what the new color is. And we are day number nine. So, where's those scissors? Because you know I'm going to need them. There we go. Here's the scissors. Ooh, this one is really, really stuck. I know, I almost feel like I should just pre-cut these for y'all. But then I feel like I'm kind of cheating and... I want you to see that I'm really trying very hard not to peek and not to cheat because, you know, I really want to. My puppy's sitting there needing mating calls with my husband. That is her main man. Let me tell you, he is her everything. Look at this. This has like the blues, the purples, and the black and grays. Nellie. So it's, yes, my dog's name is Nellie. And it's actually Nellie from Little House on the Prairie. Look at this. These are definitely going to be my next one. So I'm really thinking that this is going to be, let's see, when we look at the pattern, it's going to be this one here. So it, and I like it because of the pinks and stuff, because this looks like a little, it has like the puff stitches in it, and so it could be the puff or the bean. But I'm definitely thinking this is what I'm going to do. And, you know, I was talking to my daughter, and I said, you know, everyone's supposed to name their projects and stuff. And I'm thinking of calling this one my, it's like a witchy, witchy uh, shawl, but I said it a different way, and I'm going to have to ask her. Of course, she rolled her eyes at me, so... Of course, I started laughing, and now I forgot the freaking name. <laughs> what I was going to name it. That's why we write down things. And you know, I was just talking about how I have all these nice little notepads and everything from Crochet Society, and did I write it down? No. So that's what I'm going to have to start. See, you guys are helping me keep on track, take notes, figure my stuff out, stay on course. So, you can so see, I so need this YouTube channel because I am just so scatterbrained and all over the place. But, that is for, and this is Mad Science. I will put the notes in it down below. I'll even, uh, what I guess I'll do is I'll try to link the first day that actually has all the other notes. Maybe that would be helpful. And then, let's see, we're on day number nine. And this one is Whips on Sticks. Oh my god, I did peek a little. I'm so sorry. Oh, look at what I saw. Oh my goodness, I'm already really excited. I'm sorry, but I don't know if I'm going to continue with the whole pumpkin thing. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, you know what I'm really looking forward to is seeing if they did a candy corn one. Oh, I think that would be neat. But this just looks like, almost looks like toffee. It's just so pretty. Oh, it's, this is the perfect name for it, and I should have known. Oh, uh, they did a, such an amazing, Sugar Skulls. That's the name of this one, is Sugar Skulls. And it is 
perfect. Wouldn't you think so? I mean, with the cream in it, and then you know how they always have the beautiful jewels or the painted colors the, with the bright, the bright, beautiful brightness of it. When I went to Mexico, that was one thing I really, really loved was um, I didn't love the illness I came back with, but I did love all the beautiful bright colors. Um, it was just amazing there. And look at that. Doesn't this just remind you that beautiful white crisp skulls? And then you have the beautiful brightness of the different colors, the teals, the pinks, the golds. Oh, this is going to be amazing. And here we go with our collection over here. You can tell I'm just holding off because, I don't know, my daughter comes home in a couple of days. And so I think it's going to be a battle of wills at this point. And the will will be, I will make what I want to make. Or she will have to learn how to make a pumpkin herself. Won't you? Won't you, May? <laughs> so, I keep hounding her too. She's in college, so she has been so crazy with all of her classes. You know, it's just really demanding. She's in her last semester, and it's very stressful. So I'm constantly asking her, have you watched my channel? Have you watched my channel? And she's like, Mom, I'm trying to graduate from college. But then I'm kind of like, Oh, yeah, no, no, I totally understand. But then I'm like, have you watched my channel? But, yeah, so she's going to be home soon. And I just, uh, I have an idea of what I want to do with it. But I know she has an idea of what she wants to do. This is my ham of a dog. You ought to see her. She's just laying her face right on the table next to my yarn. She's just, she always just wants the attention. I don't blame her. I do, too. All right. So, that is pretty much what's happening right now. I am focusing on this shawl because I really do want to really get my claws, I do have some long nails, so some claws into this shawl. And I, I think the ending, even if it's kind of crazy with the mixtures of colors and stuff, I think it will be such a fall, Halloween-y, I mean, and even, you know, I feel like it could even be spring related because they've got such bright colors. And I even have flowers in my garden, um, Black Eye Susans, and then I have some lilies as well that are these colors, are these kind of fall colors, but they bloom in the summer and they're just gorgeous. So I could even wear this during the spring. I just think it's a really amazing project. I'm getting really excited. I'm saying really a lot, which is really bad, but sorry. Um, but I'm excited about the advent calendars for Christmas because I do love Christmas, but I love Halloween. I'm looking forward to next year doing this. And, you know, I don't know if I'll really need another one of these. I want to order from them, but I don't know if I will need another wall hanging. But who knows? I mean, maybe I'll put donkey treats in it. Wouldn't you like that, Nelly? Oh, yes, you would. She's looking at me like you're getting on my nerves, woman. So that's going to be it for today. I'm hoping this is inspiring all of you to kind of check out some of these small businesses on Etsy. Uh, like I said, I think there were a few that you could locate on Amazon. But also, some of just the indie diet companies or just the... I don't even call them companies because you think companies are like big, huge area, you know. They're just like small yarn shops that are online. They do, I've been looking and all of them are doing these amazing things for Halloween and it's like, oh, if I was rich and a million dollars, I would get every single flipping one. But I'm not. So I kind of had to pick and choose and these two really like sparked my interest. You know, I go for that little spark of flame, something that's going to ignite and these definitely did for me. So I'm looking for, I just really want to start using this. I so want to open this. It, yeah, I'm loving this month. It's been really good. The vlogging every day is a little bit of a challenge, but I do like it because I feel like I'm sharing this with you and hopefully maybe next year we'll all do it together. So we'll see. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Bye-bye.